Hello and welcome to Spotlight on Newcastle County. I'm your host, Melody Kitchen. You never know who we're going to talk to or where we're going to visit. For today's show, I'm pleased to welcome back to the NCC TV studio, Carrie Corbin, who will be here to discuss the Fairy Festival at Rockwood Museum and Park. Thank you for being here oh, today, Carrie. it's always a pleasure. <laughs> so to begin with, can you tell our audience where and when the Fairy Festival will be held? Fairy Fest is this Sunday, September 20th, at Rockwood Museum and Park. Um, and that is at 4651 Washington Street Extension. Mm -hmm. um, and so right there in the park. So you won't be able to miss it. When you get to the park, parking's on site, you won't be able to miss it. <laughs> and is there a fee for entrance to this There event? is no fee whatsoever. So everything's free. Most of the activities are free, with the exception of our uh, Fairy House and Gnome Home Building Contest, which we'll talk a little bit more about. Um, and there will be food vendors there and mm -hmm. some fairy, we call them fairy wares. Merch is selling fairy, fairy wares and they may be selling things for free. But all the activities, um, including face painting and we mm -hmm. have a ton of other things going on, are all free. Now, how many people do you expect to attend this event? How many attended last year? Last year we had 3,000 people and this year we're expecting about the same and probably a little bit more. It, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day, knock on wood. Right. Beautiful kind of, that, what we're just what we're looking for, that go, summer going into the fall kind of day. So warm but not hot and really yeah. lovely. Now what sort of events are planned for this year? Well, every year we have face painting, free face painting, mm -hmm. and we have wonderful face painters. Um, we have crafts, and we make fairy wings and fairy wands, and then this year we're also making Peter Pan hats and really cute little, um, they're flower headbands, like, like almost like you go to Coachella. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> but not really, they're for fairies. Um, and um, we also have bubbles, and we always play with bubbles, and this year we're kind of changing it up a little bit and we're going to have all different things for you to play with in the bubble solution and we're calling it a bubble lab. Um, also new this year we have Tinkertown and Hagley Museum and Library is coming in and they're helping us do a project which is you're taking recyclable objects mm -hmm. um, and creating them into a problem solving contraption. So the idea being okay. that you would be creating a contraption that would kind of help the fairies do their jobs. Oh wow. So like, it, like you're a tinker fairy. Yeah. So, um, so we have the Tinker Town. Um, this year we also have ballet performances by two separate companies. Mm -hmm. um, Wilmington Ballet Academy of the Dance will be doing perform two performances. And the Delaware Arts Conservatory will also be doing two performances. Okay. And also fairy parades. So everybody likes to do fairy parades. So we oh, do sure. fairy parades around. And those are very frequent. Um, <laughs> and we also have in the Rockwood Museum, they're having the children's tours. Okay. And the, the, the Newcastle County Libraries will be presenting Enchanted Story Times okay. on a rotating schedule. Because you know people have things to do, so we try to schedule it so that you can kind of come in and sort of get everything done within do an hour. Do a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of everything done if that's what you want. But if you want to hang out too, you can catch both performances and a couple story times. You know sure. everybody has to get home for the game. <laughs> <All right. Four. laughs> I guess so. <laughs> it's a big one. Um, but we, it's going to be easy for you to get in and get out and, and go on with your day. And what is the parking situation like? Parking is on site. So okay. if it's free, it's on site. Um, there's a little walk, but not a lot, from Rockwood. Yeah. I don't know if anybody's familiar with Rockwood, it's the upper parking lot where you're going to be parking. Okay, so and right outside. Then, yeah, but yeah. it's also going to then, you know, be moving around. Like, we're, you know, we're kind of pros at helping people park. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, it'll be convenient parking, convenient to get to the site. And is there a rain date in the unlikely event, <laughs> knock on wood, that it does rain? Yes, uh, the 27th. So, the Sunday the 27th will be the rain date. Okay. And I'd also like to just mention County Executive Tom Gordon and, you know, his work in, in getting all these events set up and Sophia Hansen, mm -hmm. the Community Services Manager, um, they really just put in so much work in making Rockwood, you know, a great place and these mm -hmm. events are are sort of exactly what the county yeah. needs. And the Fairy Fest is so perfect at Rockwood too. And they do, they do, they have a wonderful vision into kind of what we can do with these events. What we like about the Fairy Fest at Rockwood is you know Rockwood's a Victorian estate. Right. Um, but it, it has survived all these years and it's just the landscape and the rocks and the trees and you know Rockwood and everything are just perfect for this, you know, fa these fairies, and right. it's so pretty, and you have the backdrop of the beautiful mansion, and we have a wishing bridge, I forgot to mention that too. So there's bridges that go over the Ha Ha Rockwood, and, and little, the, everybody will write a little wish, and we tie it to the bridge, and it's so beautiful, and they blow in oh. the wind, and we collect them up, and um, 
it's just a really great sort of simple event that we do because it's just to get people out and get their kids right. out in the fresh air and expose them to these wonderful ballets and story times and just to celebrate imagination and be able to come out and really have an imagination. And you can come in costume when you say dress your best, but mm -hmm. if you don't, you know, we were making wings and wands and, and headbands All and hats. All sorts of fun stuff. So you will leave as a fairy if you don't come as, as such. And you can come as anything you want. We had a lot of little right. boys last year dressed as Iron Man and, you know, whatever they wanted. And so, yeah, yeah it's a fairy fest, but, you know, we went, as um, I was talking to a colleague and we said, we want you to come as a fairy or come as Iron Man or come as your awesome self, whatever makes you comfortable. We want you to come and not be intimidated that you don't have a costume or don't have right. a fairy costume. We can make you wings and they'll have plenty of glitter on them and you will shine just as bright as all the other fairies. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like it's going to be really oh, we awesome. we love it. It's one of our favorites. <laughs> Is there anything that you would like to add before we wrap up today? Well, not related to fairies, but related to a, a really good family time. Carousel Park on October 10th, it's a Saturday from 5.30 to 7.30, is doing country line dancing outside okay. in the Oasis Courtyard. And um, another, it's free, so another great free family event. Bring them out, get your dance on, get some exercise in the fresh air, um, learn some new country line dancing, wear your most comfortable cowboy boots, and um, you know, just have a great time. But first, come to Fairy Fest. But first, come to Fairy Fest. <laughs> Well, thanks so much for coming oh, back in today, welcome. Carrie, oh. and good luck with your event. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, that wraps up this edition of Spotlight on Newcastle County. I'm your host, Melody Kitchen. For County Executive Tom Gordon, Executive Producer Jim McDonald, and Director Tony Prado, thank you for watching, and please keep it tuned to NCC-TV for your news and information. Take care. <laughs>